Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a full house tour on our new rental house we just recently moved into. So a few things to note before we go on to the house tour. My current house value is around $433,000. So definitely a lot more than I was planning on spending, but I'm literally obsessed with how it turned out. And this is the basic color scheme of my house you're going to see. I used a lot of seashell, institutional white, linen, beige, and some yellow accents. Anyways, let's get to the house tour. So as you just saw, that was the basic color scheme and overview of the outside exterior of my house. So definitely from when I did my empty house tour and moving in here, the color scheme was a bit different, but I did change it up because it really just wasn't fitting the vibe I was going for and this fits it a lot better. So right now I am standing in the driveway. So this is what it looks like. So obviously I just have a bunch of garden here and I went for a more simplistic garden and not as many flowers because I really didn't want it so overwhelming. So when you come in, this is what it looks like. So over here, there is just some plants and some trees over here on the exterior of the fence. Then right here, I just have a beige bench with some plants. Right here are our recycling bin and our trash bin as long as our mailbox. And then over here is just a row of gardening and our garage. So on one side of the garage, I have a planter with some tulips and some daisies. And then on the other side, I have another planter with just a cactus. Over here is the path that leads to the front porch of our house. Then on this side of the house, we have the kids swing set. Since we don't have a backyard in this house, I did add a swing set out here. Obviously, I don't have too much out here since summer is unfortunately coming to an end so fast and the fall season and school time is unfortunately coming up. So that means we are going to be able to start decorating for fall so soon and I'm absolutely so excited for that. So that's why my exterior is a bit simple so I can change it up for fall and winter. So as we approach the front of the house more, as you can see over here, we have some tulip boxes on the windows as well as just some more garden. And at the entrance of the front porch, we do have two giant tulips as well as a little seating table where we could eat outside and a planter behind the table where we have more flowers that we are currently growing. I absolutely love this front porch because it is much more simple, but I think very elegant and I think it's just too cute. Then obviously right here is just the front door to the house, which just has a rug to come in. So we have pretty much toured the whole outside of the house. So now we're going to head inside. So this is what it looks like when you open up the front door. I absolutely love how the entryway foyer turned out. So this is what it looks like when you come inside to your foyer. I'm absolutely obsessed because I did do a lot of custom builds with this build and I'm really proud of it. Over here, I have a custom purse hanging on the thing. And then over here, I did a custom bench where the kids can take their shoes on and off. When you come in a little bit more, we have over here is just a dresser for some decoration. Then we also have a place to store umbrellas. Then obviously right next to it is the stairs that you would head upstairs. I did end up changing the railing because it really just wasn't fitting the vibe I was going for. Over here is another custom as well as our family GFX portrait above it. And I think this is absolutely beautiful. Then on the other side of this custom, we do have a full length mirror so you can check yourself before you head out of the house. So continuing from the foyer, we have this area. I actually love this area because it's kind of like the other part of the house. So over here, you just have a little chair where you can kind of sit down. And then over here is just kind of a wall filler. These two double doors behind me lead to the kids' playroom and schoolroom. 
So when you come in, this is what it looks like. It's definitely a bit bright over there. So when you first come in, you're greeted by this custom build where the kids can store all their collectibles. Then on the other side of the doors, the kids just kind of have a work table with some art supplies. Right next to the kids' work table, we have this bookshelf that has a bunch of toys that are lowered to the ground so Eloise will be able to grab them. Then up higher, we have some paper and some paint cans for the kids. Over here is definitely more dedicated to Eloise because as the Tiny Tots play a table with some crayons and some toys, we also have a little art easel and a play kitchen. On the other side over here, we have a bookshelf for more work supplies. This is more towards Kate and Gibby, the older kids. And over here, I did make some custom books. This book is called The Cute Hamster, The Cute Dog, The Cute Cats, and The Cute Turtle. There wasn't really any children's books that fit the style I was going for, so I just decided to make my own. And then over here is just kind of another little bench area where the kids could sit and read. I guess it's more kind of like a reading nook. Then towards the back of the playroom is Kate and Gibby's school work area. So they each have their own laptops. So this is Gibby's side. On Gibby's side, he just has some books, one of his collectibles, and some paper and some crayons. Then over on Kate's side, she has a few more books, some post-it notes, pens, and a plant to make her side a bit more mature. And then that is pretty much it for the kids' school and playroom. When you come back into kind of the middle area I just toured, over here, this door leads to the downstairs half bathroom. So right when you first come in, we just have the sink and a towel and some soap and of course the mirror. We have the toilet area and on the back, I have areas where I store towels and kind of like a linen closet downstairs. As well as a special touch, I did add a changing table for Eloise downstairs as well as a little training potty. I think this room is so cute and I love the tile on the ground. This is the first time I've ever really changed the tile in the bathroom. So when you come out into the mudroom, I built this kind of custom seating area where the kids can again take their shoes on and off. But not only that, above there's a purse and a book bag. And please do not ask why these things keep messing up. I've fixed these racks so many times, it's getting on my nerves actually so much. And then over here, we have a little dog bed for Chocolate and Winston. And we also have an umbrella store and this little bin inspired by It's Aquila. Then on the other side, I just have a plant and a stroller for Eloise. Also in the mud room, I have the laundry room. So the laundry room is a lot smaller here, but I think it's perfect. Right here, we have a huge farmhouse sink with some soap above. Then we also have, of course, the washer and dryer and just some laundry that has been folded. Then that's pretty much it for the laundry room. There's nothing really too special in there. This room leads to our garage. So I will say the garage is inspired by definitely it's Aquila because I absolutely love her garage. Since we don't have a basement in this house, I did take the storage things and bring them out to the garage this time. So we have definitely some Christmas, Halloween, and some Thanksgiving decor out here. Then on the other side, we have a mini like at home gym, which is so cool. We have a treadmill, a lifting station, and we also have some slam balls as well as a yoga mat and this giant mirror where you can watch yourself do yoga or even exercise. On the other side of this wall, this is of course the actual garage. So we have my sports car and I still do need it to get a family car. For the new family car, I'm thinking either the new convertible or the Jeep or stick with the mom van. Let me know what you think down in the comments. That's pretty much it for the garage and this whole side of the house. So now we're gonna go back to the foyer and now it's time to explore my favorite part, the kitchen and the living room. So this doorway is like the main doorway, but of course you can always go through these double doors. But over here is the kitchen. I'm absolutely in love. So when you come in, you're greeted by this huge kitchen island. I absolutely love this kitchen island. I think it's so pretty. So obviously right here, we just have the sink and I did do a custom hack where I added some dishes in here. Then we obviously just have the soap and everything and we have three kitchen stools. Over here is kind of the phone area and just kind of take notes over here as well as the garbage fridge. And then over here is my coffee nook because we have all our coffee cups stored on the side as well as just some other appliances like the blender and the toaster. And then I'm also using the Bloxy eggs as butter. It kind of looks like a thing of butter. 
Right here is our double stoves and oven. Then we just have some more storage for the kitchen. Over here is Eloise's high chair, as well as some of our grocery shopping bags, a grocery list, and the kids back to school schedule. This door right here in the kitchen is our pantry. And I know the pantry is very simple, but I really do love it. So right here we have all our foods. So I put Lucky Charms, Goldfish, Pop-Tarts, Pretzels, Pringles, and over here just has so much. <laughs> then over here just has so much more storage for food. So this area right here is all the kids' lunch boxes. I really do love these customs because I think they're so cute. So this purple unicorn one is Eloise's. This seashell one is Kate's and the blue one is Gibby's. And this thing next to Eloise's lunchbox is a thermos. That's pretty much it for the pantry. It's not too special. Over here on the other side of the kitchen island is just the dogs eating and water area kind of thing. And then we have some of their treats above here as well as a heart mirror. Now going in to the living room. I love this living room so much. It just seems so homey and I'm obsessed. So obviously we have the dog area and the humongous couch. I love these new custom couches they made because you can kind of build it however you would like. Then we also have this really cute coffee table which underneath has some toys for Eloise. Then we have the fireplace with the TV above it. Then on the sides here, I kind of got this inspired by Alexia, how she made these little custom benches right next to the TV. I absolutely love that. Then I do have little storage things on either side of the benches. Then over here, these double doors lead to my office. So there's nothing too special about my office, but it's really cool since I am a YouTuber in the game and I'm also a principal at the new school this upcoming school year. I thought it'd be perfect to have this standing computer as well as a camera and the camera is inspired by Robilds. Oh my gosh, my voice is hurting from this house tour. Then on the other side of the living room, we have this really cool area, just another storage thing and another bin. But this thing right here is actually a doggy door. This is actually so cool. I love this feature I added. So all I have to do is open it, then I can let the dogs out. Oh my gosh, that sounded so wrong. Anyways, so this is what it looks like. You kind of come out here and this is what their area looks like so obviously we just have some grass and then i also added a few dog toys out here as well as a tree and some fencing then when the pups are done out there i can just close these and then they come back inside and i think it looks really cute so when we go back into the kitchen these double doors lead to the dining room and i just would like to say this dining room is my absolute least favorite room in this house like i'm just not loving it like Guys, there's no effort. I literally copy and pasted those, but we don't talk about that because we will never be in here. It's just more for decoration, but we do have the dining room table with some napkins and some lemons, of course. Did I say lemons? I meant lemons. Oh goodness. Okay, well, that's pretty much it for the whole first floor of our house. So now we're going to be heading upstairs. So when you come up the stairs, these picture frames are eventually going to be filled with the kids' school pictures. Obviously, they haven't taken them this year yet, so they are empty. But now continuing upstairs, this is what it looks like when you come up. I'm honestly not in love with how bright it is. I will say the hardest part of this house was lighting for me, and I don't really know why, but I just could not get it right. Anyways, so the kids finally decided whose room was who and got to decorate it. So this room right here, when you first come up the stairs, is Kate's room. This room is absolutely stunning. She went for a very simple pink and white vibe. It is so pretty, so when you first come in, she has this little affirmation area, which I think is so cute. Love yourself. And she got this really cool curtain hack from either Bullbox or Robilt. She wasn't really sure. Over here is obviously just her queen bed area because she has such a huge bed. And probably my favorite part of this room is how like you can look out and the tulips are right there out the window. I think that is so pretty. She has her dresser and then over here is just kind of her laptop upstairs. And she also has a bookshelf as well. So coming out of her bedroom right here, this is Eloise's bedroom and I have to say, I'm in love with Eloise's bedroom because it is very boho and I think it's so cute. So over here is Eloise's crib. And then over here is Eloise's dresser area with some toys and a bean bag. 
And then over there is Eloise's teddy bear and changing table. And this is kind of an overview of what her room looks like. It's definitely more simple and smaller than her other bedroom, but I think it is so cute. And then these doors lead to her closet. And that's pretty much it for the girls' bedrooms. This room right here is the upstairs bathroom. So basically this is the kids' bathroom. So they have their sink area, the toilet, and their bath and shower combo. Coming out of the bathroom, you come upstairs to another section of the upstairs hallway. So over here, we just have another dog bed for Winston or chocolate. Then on the other side of the hallway is just kind of this table with the heart frame of our whole family. So this bedroom right here is Gibby's. I absolutely love his bedroom because I kind of went for like a wild animal themed bedroom. He currently has an obsession with cabbie bears, if you know what type of animals those are. So I decided to kind of continue that for his theme. So obviously he has his two nightstands with his bed and some stuffed animals. And obviously the eye-catching thing, the big capybara wallpaper. On this side of his room, he has his desk, and it's really cool because he has his three monitor PC as well as this build hack of a PC down here. Above his monitor, he just has some collectibles and some plants to make it a little bit wild safari theme. On the other side of his bedroom, he has some books, some clothes he needs to put away, obviously the bean bags and the TV, and obviously the big capybara pitcher. He also does have an electric guitar in the corner because he actually loves that. Then this door is his closet. So that's it for Gibby's bedroom. Then of course, the last bedroom up here is the parents' room, my bedroom, the big master bedroom. This room is absolutely so adorable and thank you so much to Simply Kate for helping out with this room. So when you first come in over here, I have another one of these DIY custom benches with a huge mirror up top. Over here, I have my TV and then two little sitting areas. Since I do spend quite a lot of time in my bedroom sometimes getting ready and stuff, the kids like to hang out in here, so I added two chairs. Over here, I have a nightstand and just some more storage back here and my full-length mirror, as well as my humongous king-size bed. Over here, I just have another table and another nightstand with some plants. This door right here leads to my bathroom. I love this bathroom so much. It just gives such mom vibes. So right here, I have my sink with my makeup and a bunch of hair products. Obviously, I have my walk-in shower. And over here, I have my tub with some soaps. And then my toilet is right over here. Okay, Pixies, that is going to be it for today's video. Just before we end this video, I would like to say this is an original build. So if you do end up posting it anywhere in social media, make sure to credit me in the description or in the video. All the build hacks you saw today are done by some amazing creators. So make sure to go subscribe to them, which will be linked down below. And the layout for this house will not be posted quite yet, so please be patient for the layout of the house. Anyways, bye!